Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here and welcome back to Project Cars 2 where today we are running in the IndyCar. We're going to be recreating the IndyCar Grand Prix of Long Beach for 2018 and boy is it going to be interesting here on sort of PC2 Project Cars 2. It's been a while since I ran. Actually, I did just go and run a sort of support category before this race in the IMSA WeatherTech Sports Car Championship so you can check that out if you're into your endurance racing. It was a pretty fun race. It was only 22 minutes. Uh, so or well, 25 minutes so it was a nice sort of short sprint but it was really fun with all the sort of different classes and GT cars out on track it's a little bit scary at times but we managed to get through and we managed to well have a pretty interesting race to say the least all right guys here we go IndyCar Grand Prix of Long Beach nothing really more to say we are on Project Cars 2 which means we don't have quite all the right names as you saw there but we do have all the right liveries so uh, sort of pick your driver here and there unfortunately because this is sort of last year's models car well this game came out last year so it's got the 2017 sort of modeled car we don't have the new ir18 in project cars 2 imagine if one day project cars 3 came out we'd have that sort of car but anyway still just as fun more grip so makes it easier now qualifying i did put it in the fence so i am starting off the back for those that don't sort of or haven't seen any of my previous sort of racing videos or are new to my channel I don't like doing all this restarting I like to keep it as realistic as possible like most sort of sim racing youtubers do they just restart over and over again until they get the coolest possible race but I like to keep it sort of you see as, as what you see is what you get sort of thing so we are starting off the back and hopefully we can get through the first couple laps without dying that's going to be the goal so today's race is uh, 42 laps, so it's a long one, it's approximately half of what the real life race distance is. We'll just form up here, which there's already pieces of carbon on the track. Wow, they're already gone. Oh, no, here we go. Oh, we're stopped on the last corner. Yeah, for those that don't know Long Beach, this is probably the tightest corner in the entire IndyCar calendar, as you can see here. We're not even, we're green and we're not even around the last corner yet. Alright, here we go. We're underway. IndyCar Grand Prix at Long Beach on Project Cars 2. Let's see how long we last before <laughs> we die. Big move. Had to avoid one of the coin cars there. Well, if that is a coin car, I'm not quite sure what that is. Oh my lord, we're on top of the curb. No! <laughs> sort of came down off the curb and spun. Come on. Go, 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 go. Move! Alright, we'll be back on them in a sec. Just hope I haven't warped my tyres turning the car around. Yeah, I knew we'd be back on them in a second. Around the outside. For, oh, that's a front wing. There's Hunter Ray pitting. Pushed pass engaged. I knew I should have linked in that sixth gear. Look, we've run out of gear. They really do slow up through some of these slow corners, the AI. This is wild. Oh, that's a fence. So for those that know Project Cars 2, this is uh, set to 115% race difficulty. So for those that don't know Project Cars 2, it's basically like almost as hard as you can make the AI. I think 
max is 120 and the minimum. Oh my god. God, you really stern. <laughs> I've got like full steering lock. And yeah, so I think the max is 120 and the minimum is 70, I believe, or 90, but yeah, it's pretty much almost as hard as you can get it. I did have it set to 110, but the AI was really slow, so I bumped up a bit. We seem to be really good through the last sector. First and second sector, we're struggling a bit. Awesome in the first sector, that's your best bet so far. Oh my god, I knew that was gonna happen. Sorry, we got away with it. Oh, I can hell. We've got chronic understeer right now. I don't know why this car's so different to what it was in practice. Well, there we are, up into 11th, and we got Simon Paginot ahead of us, so that's a good sort of first couple of laps, 24th to 11th. Oh my god, your left town, go away. <laughs> you heard me. Oh, a little bit of grass at the fountain there. No biggie. Oh, that's a lot of re-break. Space, I can just focus ahead without having to worry about stepping on anyone's toes. Alright, come on, let's boogie. Fastest lap. First sort of clear lap, to be honest. Okay, you can't get much closer to the wall there. That's your fastest first sector time. Yeah, it's almost <laughs> the scariest first sector I think I've done. Back off this bias a little bit. It's a little bit too far back. Let's Catching the guys ahead, so this is not bad.
much more cars pitting. Looks like... I don't know who that is. Is that power or... It looks like power. I can't remember what, his, what number he was last year. Definitely love the look of the Verizon cars. They've always looked so cool. Car's so much longer than it feels. <laughs> yeah, that was a little bit of a slow lap, but I'm getting held up in the aero wash of this lap car. This is not helping. those fronts. better lap. I think we caught up to the leader about a second since I last checked. We're still 25 seconds down so it's not going to be easy to catch all that ground up but we'll do our best over the next sort of 20 minutes, 30 minutes or so. So for the last stint of the race, I am going to switch to the um, primary tyre, so that's the black sidewall tyre, which is uh, the harder of the two compounds, those that don't know IndyCar. So I'm going to need that tyre to get me to the end, because I don't think I can get to the end on two sets of alternates, 
which is the softer tyre, <laughs> which is the red stripe tyre, <laughs> again for those that don't know. Change gears. As the fuel load is coming down, the car is getting much better. Actually, the rear is so much more settled than what it was in the sort of more green conditions in practice as this rubber is going down, it's really helping us out. You never want to set up a car to be sort of over tight in practice because once the rubber goes down, it will most likely grip and, like gripping up a lot. Not like there. <laughs> So many of the AI cars had damage on those first couple of laps that managed to get all the way up in the sixth. Alright, so we're just past a quarter of the way there. Tires aren't looking too bad. I'm gonna aim for lap 20. Once we get to lap 20, I'll pit and put the primary tires on. Not pushing too hard right now. Don't wanna burn these babies off. There we are, catching the leader still. Just tap the inside wall there. <laughs> oh, shit. I totally was not watching where I was going. I was trying to calculate something and... <laughs> Come on Joseph, wake up. God, I love this track. It's such a fun track. I wish they'd finished it on iRacing. That would have been so cool.
Alright, so we're up into fifth, so someone in front of us has pitted early. It's only 17 seconds behind the lead now. That was a much better lap that last time by. to pass to pass the lap car which I don't want to do but oh no oh shit oh my god change gears you sh wow that just happened oh my god Joseph I was just traveling so much faster than I anticipated and brake way too late to the pits and I had to do it on turn one as well. Oh wow. Well ladies and gentlemen that is how you DNF an IndyCar race at Long Beach. That was a royal screw up on my part. I can't believe I just did that. Yeah that that one was embarrassing. It was it's for a lap car as well. I just I can't believe I just made that error. I mean god Damn it. Ugh. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed at least the first sort of part of that video when I actually sort of drove half decent. Sorry, didn't complete the whole thing. But as I said before, I like to keep my races as realistic as possible. I don't like to go restarting every five seconds. And yeah, that was just a royal screw up is what that was. Anyway, thanks guys for tuning in. Stay tuned as we're just about to go and run some Monster Energy Supercross. So hopefully we can get another win in the 450 category and extend our championship lead. All right, guys, once again, sorry for the way it ended, but thanks for tuning in. Until next time, I'll catch you later.